so today I'm tying a fly called the Slump Buster. I am using a size 10 streamer hook. This is a uh, Umpqua U301 and it is size 10. It can be tied in a number of hook sizes. You can go you know, down to about 14 probably and up to probably 6. Uh, much bigger you're going to want to go with something other than pine squirrel. And this is a 4.8 millimeter brass cone head. So I'm just going to measure out my tail here. I want it about the length of the shank. And we're just going to separate, add a little water. You want to tie that right on top. You can use any kind of tinsel. This is called sparkle braid. right under that uh, cone head. Now it wants to rotate a bit, so you want to make sure you tie it right on top. So I'm cutting that off on an angle. Pull the fibers back, start wrapping this all the way up into the cone head. best not to trap very many fibers. And then we're just going to keep wrapping until it kind of forces those backward a bit. We're going to take a bit of head cement because we can't really whip finish too well inside there. And then we do a finish over top of that, and that's how we get the head cement inside. I'm going to do a double just to make sure it's secure. Very simple fly. It has weight because of the cone head. And this flash will show through a bit. And you can see that gets really bright with the UV light on there. It almost glows. That's Slump Buster. Now you can trim up the, the tail how you want it. Some people will angle it, so they'll cut like a, an angle in there. That'll kind of help this whip around a little more. Uh, or you can just, you know, you can trim it a lot shorter if you want, if you want this sh tail shorter. Uh, you can have it long like this. Um, but this is a super easy fly to tie and uh, very effective. In fact, this is what I caught that big brown on my last trip to the Animus, so. Yeah!